we have a modified YDSC where we have a mirror here and we have a single source of light here and then we have a screen now source and screen are separated by distance L so that is given to us there is a slight misprint here in the book so this has to be screen and the fringe width comes to be delta x which is given now after the source is moved away from the mirror by delta h so when the source is moved away from the mirror by delta h the fringe width decreased eta times find the wavelength of light now i am not deriving it but uh, for a typical ydsc fringe width is given by lambda d by d where d is this distance between the source not source between the slits and the screen and d is distance between the slits so we are going to use this formula here directly so because of the mirror so if source was here will it will have a image here which will be at the same distance d from the line of mirror so now we can directly use our formula so delta x fringe width is equal to lambda l by 2d so distance between the slits is 2d now when the source is moved away by delta h the new distance between the slits becomes twice of d plus delta h. so new fringe width will be delta x by eta because it's given fringe width decreased eta times so new fringe width is delta x by eta so from here the only thing which we don't know is d so we'll eliminate d and find lambda in terms of what is given to us all right